like corn dogs. But this corn dog is too cold. Brought to you by America's corn dogs farmers who say to heat it up, make sure your corn dogs are hot in the middle. Hi, I'm Drew Croson. And I'm Jeff Hubbard. We're actors. And we're here to tell you about something very important to our hearts. Stray billy goats. What happens is, these billy goats are running the streets of our major cities in this country. Especially Detroit. Detroit is a run amok with stray billy goats that are infecting everyone with West Nile virus. West Nile virus. That is why the companies like GM and Ford are failing right now. Because they're based in Detroit. Also, it's hard to get to work when there's thousands of billy goats roaming the streets. Thousands. So here's the thing, don't leave cans out. Don't let them eat your tires on your cars. Watch out for Billy Goats. If you see one, shoot it with a BB gun. In the face. Many times. I like to eat David Sunflower seeds all at once. Gentlemen are ready. Hi, I'm Drew Croson. And I'm Jeff Hubbard. We're actors. Yeah, we are. We're here to tell you about something important today. Anthrax infested paper planes. Paper planes are hard to throw. And if they have anthrax in them, they can be deadly. They might kill you, and also they might not fly very far. And if they're not folded right, they're going right down to the ground. Making you a source of ridicule and death. But if you have anthrax on your paper plane, you could kill everyone in the room. Like that. So make sure you clear your paper planes of anthrax. It's a white powder. It's not rock climbing chalk. It's anthrax. Thanks. You know what's great? Sea dews. You know what's even better than just regular sea dews? Sea dews with oranges. Hi, I'm Drew Croson. And I'm Jeff Hubbard. We're here to tell you about something that's really awesome. Pork chop sandwiches. Have you ever had a really good one? One that's covered with breadcrumbs and fat? A little bit of ranch dressing? Maybe some cheddar cheese. Gosh, it's good. Gotta love me a pork chop sandwich. Get you one. Make sure you order one. Brought to you by your pork farmers. You know what's great? Mustard on hot dogs. What's even better? Mustard in your mouth. Brought to you by America's Mustard Farmers. <laughs> oh, disgusting. <coughs> My eyes are about to start watering. Hi, I'm Drew Cross. <laughs> and I'm Jim Hubbard. Gosh, it's bright. We're actors. Yes, we are. You know what's a bad idea, Drew? What? Bacon flavored potato chips. Mmm, gross. I want to throw up right if now. If you ever think about making bacon flavored potato chips, if you work for Frito Lay Company, don't do it. Don't. That's disgusting. I can't even open my eyes. I'm so. I'm about to start crying. I'm about so sad about these oh. potato chips. Why would you do that? <laughs> Bacon's good on baked potatoes. Just let it be bacon. But bacon flavored potato chips is just ridiculous. Uh, let potato chips be potato chips, not bacon potato chips. Why would you want a potato, potato chip potato flavored chips. like meat? Potato chips. Would you eat a uh, pork flavored potato chip? Would no. you eat your dog if it was made of bacon? Answer, no. no. Would you eat a chicken fried steak flavored potato chip? No. no, that's gross. But if it had gravy on it, maybe. Would you eat a potato chip that tastes like ketchup? Yes, they do in Canada. They do? Yeah, they that's have gross. meat. That is gross. That's gross. Would you eat a potato chip that tasted like corn? Would some, like a corn chip? No, like no, no, it tasted like corn. Like, like with butter. Right. No. No, that's gross. The answer is no. Would, Would you, you eat a potato chip that was made of a pickle? A potato chip. Well, if it was salt and vinegar, yes, because that's delicious. But it's a pickle, not that. Would not you that. eat a potato chip that was barbecue flavored? Yes, have, I do yes, that. I love them. This is brought to you by the potato chip companies. Of America. I can't open my eyes. I'm watering. My eyes are watering. 